Hi everyone, in this new Plotnikov photography lesson I want to show you how to create the glass reflection. Sometimes it might be a really good idea to add some reflection on the glass if you want to show that it's glossy. That's how the bottle looks without the reflection. And here we go with the reflection. It looks equally good at small scale and in large scale so that's really something you want to know how to do so let's delay this one and create a new one what you want to start with is to make an clipping path for our future reflection you would probably need if you don't want if you don't know how it usually looks what is the shape of reflections then you need to go to internet and look at some images to learn how to put a reflection so it would look natural I made lots of them so I do know the future shape if I would really use softbox or something else to create it on the photoshop It usually takes just a minute or two to create a path. Oops. Okay, let's make it a little wider. Okay, that's all done. So the next thing is to create a selection out of the clipping path, create a new group and a new layer on it. And then pick the brush and probably color somewhere from the lightest part of the bottle. Then pick brush. And make some drawings. Oh, you know, actually, let's just fill it completely. And then create a mask and erase sides. I think that would be better. I don't want to erase completely the sides, I just want them to fade a little bit. Alright, and then switch to overlay. And change opacity layer. Let's say 40, then duplicate the layer and use screen okay so let's not try to make it a little bit brighter maybe just using curves okay cool so what I want to do next is to blur a little bit sides so I want to use Gaussian Blur for that and the same for this one okay let's try to erase sides a little bit more Okay, cool. 
So, now what I need to change is the reflection on the label, because label has different material, it's not as glossy as um, glass. So, I want to copy group of reflections, then make selection with my label. Okay, so now I have two separate reflections, one for the glass and the other one for the label. Let's delete all the masks. and make this reflection white instead of yellow and just use Gaussian Blur to make it less glossy okay something like that make a good look natural then I'll probably want to use the lane or the lane combined with screen. Yeah, something like that. With different um, <clears throat> bottles, when they're darker or lighter. There will be different numbers in different opacity, but <clears throat> in general, the method would work with every glass texture. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.